Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So in this video we're going to talk about our recent visit to Singapore, which has a special place in my heart. The first time I was there was over 20 years ago for work and it kept drawing me back to Southeast Asia. Now there's a direct flight from Vientiane to Singapore which makes it convenient. So I'm going to talk about some of the differences that I see now versus my first visit 20 years ago. Uh, namely, the first one was the airport, which if you know about Changi Airport, it's consistently one of the top airports in the world. Well, this new area called the Jewel just takes it one step above. So with world-class restaurants and shops and this large indoor waterfall, it's, it's a pretty amazing place. And we spent quite a bit of time here actually before we even left the airport, walking around, taking the sights in and having dinner. Yeah, it's, it's quite a place. So from the airport, we made our way to the hotel, which was located in the central business district. And my second observation is just how much development and activity there is around this area, the CBD it's called. So pretty amazing area. You can see the skyscrapers. You know, Old buildings have come down, new buildings have come up. People are still in just a frenzied pace of activity, always having somewhere to go. But the sights and sounds of the city are pretty exciting. And so our first full day, we went down to Marina Bay, walked there from our hotel. And then we walked down to where the Merline is. The Merline was, was just recently come out of renovation, so it was neat to see this uh, attraction. And uh, with the backdrop of the Marina Bay Sands, it was pretty neat. A different day went down to Gardens by the Bay, which is my third observation of what's changed in the last 20 years. This is a wholly new area from 20 years ago in our first visit, and it's amazing. We, I mean, we spent an entire day walking around. Uh, we stayed for the sunset, so it was neat to see the lights start to come up on the trees. Spent a lot of time walking around the gardens. You know, we didn't go to the paid attractions like the Cloud Forest. So there's still a lot to see here but we were able to spend all day anyway, just walking through with the sun going down. We saw the light and music show with the Marina Bay Sands in the background. So it was pretty amazing and highly recommended. Sentosa. The next day we went down to Sentosa, which we took the cable car from Mount Faber, which would be the way to go, in my opinion. And we could talk a little bit about some of the changes here. But in my opinion, what I see with Sentosa is, again, just the amount of development and progress that's occurred in terms of buildings that have come up. The uh, resorts world area that leads down to Universal Studios is all entirely new from what I remember 20 years ago. For good, for bad, it's uh, Pretty interesting. Again, you could spend probably two or three days down in this area. Um, it's definitely different from what I remember with uh, Sentosa being more what I remember being uh, a place for nature and um, kind of a relaxing area. You can still find those places, uh, but they're tucked away between the various attractions now. So those are my thoughts on the key differences. In the next video, we'll talk about some of the things that keep me coming back to Singapore. Spoiler alert, one of those is food. So you'll get to see some of the places we went to to enjoy some of the great Singaporean food. Please like, subscribe, and see you in the next video.